What's up guys, this is Damien with Hasha Online and today we're going to take a look at Chameleon Launcher for the uh, Nexus 4, Nexus 7, and Nexus 10, the whole Google set. Um, so starting out, uh, you know, the setup I have is, you know, we have it in a 7 inch form factor, a 4 inch form, form factor, and a 10 inch form factor because it, it does kind of vary uh, the look based on uh, the form factor of the device that you're using. Um, as you can see, there's only a certain amount of icons on the uh, dock on the Nexus 4, and then of course there's more on the 7 and even more on the 10. Um, I have some of it already set up, um, but I'm going to kind of go through it and uh, kind of give you uh, my thoughts on the Chameleon Launcher, uh, which is available now in the Google Play Store. So first off, uh, you have this uh, little button to the left on the dock and what it allows you to do is set up uh, new spaces uh, so you can have one for work uh, for play uh, you know just different home screens and it's kind of important to have that because it only allows you a couple of you know I guess screens uh, per you know um, what you say space so on the Nexus 4 you only have two screens and as far as I can tell so far you can't add or take away any from there it has to be you know what what it comes with def from the default um, there's also a set of uh, specific wallpapers which you know kind of left a little bit to desire to be desired for me you know coming from Android and everything being so customizable uh, you know it's great that they do give you the option but it's not as uh, you know as much as Android normally gives you um, it also comes with some stock widgets um, and the widgets are actually pretty good there's actually a widget for uh, Instagram which I, I wish Instagram would release on their own uh, but there's a there's an app for a widget for Instagram there's a widget for calendars all different you know types of uh, widgets and and for the most part they they all are pretty nice once you uh, drop that widget down you're able to resize it um, and, and it's very smooth uh, very fluid um, you know the whole that pretty much describes the whole chameleon launcher um, as you can see you know the different spaces again is but you know getting back to the uh, the um, and, uh, this head lets you uh, place toggles anywhere um, but you know getting back to the launcher uh, it is very smooth very it, it kind of is uh, iOS like um, now I did catch an occasional hiccup where you know kind of things were refreshing really slow and I just had a black screen I'm not sure if they was a, that was able to uh, pop up and um, you know but you're able to resize the widgets you know as you can see I have Google Plus on the left on the right the Facebook on the left and then uh, Twitter on the bottom and the little weather app so you're able to customize just a bit and uh, you also have options for uh, folders and even, even though it does come with the stock widgets you're also able to add uh, Android widgets also uh, and, and those are fully able to be resized the same way as the uh, uh, chameleon launcher uh, widgets are able to be resized now you know I really kinda like you know chameleon launcher uh, I can see how you know it would have a place for different people and you still have your drag your drop down menu um, and I think I actually even have a, a is it side panel or side launcher um, so you know you really can still customize it even though it you know is a home replacement launcher and, and I, I love the fact that it has the widgets it's just a more simple setup and I think this is gonna work for uh, you know people who you know, they're coming from like a Kindle Fire or a Nook, you know, uh, and they've, you know, recently got maybe a Galaxy Tab 10 or, you know, even a Nexus device, a Nexus 7. It works really well. And I, I think it's a bit more user friendly for the unexperienced Android user, uh, and, and especially for the price. So the price is, I want to say, $299 or $399. And of course, I'll have a link in the description uh, that'll take you to the Play Store where you can purchase it. But for that price, you also get. Uh, you know, uh, it, the, it for the tablet and for the phone. I think there is an option um, for you know, kind of a light version, and it'll just work on the phone. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But I think that it, it is. Um, you'll be able to check that out on the Play Store. But overall, I like Chameleon Launcher. Will I be using using it? 
Nah, maybe not. Uh, as a power user, um, I kind of need a, a few more options than what it provides. So guys, if you uh, like any of the videos, including this video, please don't hesitate to click that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, there's going to be lots of more videos coming out. Uh, my review for the uh, Chameleon Launcher for the Nexus 4, Nexus 7, Nexus, Nexus 10. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Oh,